Hey everybody, Keith Campbell here with Keith and Sheila Realty Group, powered by LPT Realty. So there's been a lot of talk in the news about um, this lawsuit, uh, class action lawsuit out of Missouri that was settled by the National Association of Realtors, or as we call them, NAR. Dozens of huge brokerages. The lawsuit was based on a couple of things. Uh, price fixing and collusion. Well, I can tell you having been in this industry as both a home inspector and a realtor, for almost 20 years, that's just nonsense. If I go do a search on the MLS right now and I look at what commissions were paid on closed deals, which I can do, there is no price fixing. You are gonna see everything from a 2% deal, one to the buyer's agent, one to the seller's agent, all the way up to 8% or even more. I've seen as high as 12%. You do that across the country, you're gonna see the same thing. So the bottom line is this, when a house is listed, that seller and that listing agent determine what they're willing to pay a real estate buyer's agent if they bring them an offer that is accepted. Generally speaking, uh, it's usually somewhere between five and 7%. And that can be split a variety of ways depending on the listing agent. It can be split in half, it can be, you know, whatever it needs to be. We've represented buyers and made 1%. We represented buyers and made 5%. So it just depends on the situation. So a lot of consumers are confused about this and they're thinking, I don't have to pay a buyer's agent anymore. You've never had to pay a buyer's agent ever. So what do the statistics say? Historically, people who try to sell them their house themselves, what we call a for sale by owner, or FISBO, less than 19% of them actually close. And of the 19% of the 100% who listed themselves, whether they did some kind of MLS flat fee or just advertised it locally, they made 11% less than if they'd hired a professional listing agent who does professional photography, who does videos, who does drone footage, who does aggressive marketing, both printed, geo farming, which is like community marketing, and digital marketing, social media, all that kind of stuff. So the truth is, there's never been a set standard. Unfortunately for us as real estate agents, as realtors under the membership of NAR, National Association of Realtors. I don't believe the attorneys representing NAR did a good job of arguing this and presenting the evidence that shows there is no collusion. There's never been any price fixing. There's never been any collusion because the market won't allow it. That's just the bottom line. So if you're thinking about selling a house and thinking, I don't have to buy a buyer's agent anymore, you never had to. However, let me just say this. If you do not offer compensation to a buyer's agent, your pool of buyers goes from like this to this. And what do you think happens with the price, the days on market, all that? And how we know this is because for sell by owners have failed tremendously to try to sell their property themselves. And it's not because of collusion or price fixing, because of knowledge, experience, and the tools we have to put a house in the best light possible to get the most eyeballs on it to get the best price. So if you decide you're going to list your house and not pay a buyer's agent commission, you have every right to do that. I will tell you as a listing agent, I wouldn't accept that listing. And here's why. I'm not gonna be able to get you top dollar with the fewest days on market. I'm just telling you it's not gonna happen. We know this from for sale by owners. We know this from our experience of representing buyers where we've gotten buyers really great deals because a listing agent for whatever reason, put a much smaller buyer agent commission on that listing than they did for themselves. And guess what? Agents didn't want to show it, or if they did show it, they probably trashed it. For us, we're going to take whatever commission is there. However, a lot of agents are driven by money. Do we want to make money? Of course we do, but not at the sacrifice of serving our client's best interest. That is never going to happen. So what does it mean for you? This settlement means this. Once it goes into effect sometime in August, the listing agent can no longer post on the MLS or anywhere else what the buyer agent commission is. And if you're a buyer and there is no buyer's agent commission, you're gonna to have to pay your realtor. How does that play out for buyers? It's horrible. I will just tell you straight up, it's horrible. The truth is houses have always been marked up to account for the realtor fees. A good agent is going to make sure the seller knows there's extra cushion in there to pay the realtors. It's the way it's always been. I find it ironic that, you know, a personal injury attorney in that industry 
they all charge 30, 35% uh, on personal injury type cases of whatever they collect. We charge one, two, three, four percent each. Who's the colluder? Who's doing the price fixing? It's not us. We're helping you with the biggest investment in your life. The sale of your house is your biggest financial investment, biggest financial transaction. And that this, this whole thing really doesn't bother me. Here's why. Buyer's agents are now gonna have to show and prove they have a value proposition. What do you bring to the table that's gonna serve me if I have to pay you out of my pocket? Deals are still gonna be negotiated in ways that buyer's agents get paid or those houses won't sell, it's that simple. Um, and in some states they have dual agency, which means the realtor can represent both parties, which is complete nonsense. It's impossible for one agent to represent the best interest of two different parties. It's dumb. I'll just be honest with you. We don't have that. We don't have dual agency. We have intermediary. There's two kinds of intermediary. There's a sign where the broker, let's say I have a listing, somebody, and I've done this many times. Somebody comes in an open house. I really like the house. I want to make an offer. I don't have a realtor. Can you help me? Can I? Yes. Will I know? And here's why you need to be represented. You need somebody serving your best interest as your fiduciary. So what I do is I give them the names of two, three, four realtors that I know are amazing and they go get their own representation. The other kind of intermediary is what we call facilitating an intermediary where both parties have to agree, include, including the seller, that they will no longer be represented by the agent. They become a facilitator as that agent. They can give information, but they cannot give advice. It's a dangerous thing for the agent, buyer or the seller, because you have no fiduciary. You have nobody that's looking after your best interests. Our ethics matter too much to us. So that's the first thing. The, the pub, there's no more publishing of the buyer's agent commission. So that means um, if I'm out showing you houses, I've got to call that agent and ask them, is your seller paying buyer agent commission? And if so, how much? And if not, then we have to work it out with our buyers so that we get paid. But it's going to affect the industry and it's not gonna affect it in a positive way. The second big thing is a realtor, realtors slash agents, brokers, now have to have a buyer representation agreement signed before they can show a house. I think it's good. So where it's gonna get tricky is like open houses or some of these um, large publicly uh, funded and, and owned real estate uh, companies that say, oh, just come on in. The door's always open. Well, that's going to get a little more complicated because most of them are now licensed brokerages in the states in which they operate. So they're going to have to adhere to these rules too. So that's really what it boils down to. There has never been an obligation for a seller to pay a buyer's commission. And if your realtor told you otherwise, they lied to you. I've always told our sellers, do you have to? No. Should you? Yes, because you want as many potential buyers as possible. That's how you get the most money and keep your house on the market for the shortest amount of days. So with our brokerage, we're on the cutting edge of technology. Our CEO um, founder is really on top of this. We're going to have it all digital. You can do it right on your phone, read the agreement, sign it, boom, you're done. So I hope that clears up some of that. If you have any questions about it, reach out to us. I'll share what I know. Uh, it looks like it's going into effect mid-August, but it can still get pushed back. Um, it doesn't really change a whole lot. There's never been a requirement for a seller to pay the buyer's agents. There's never been a fixed amount. I would be willing to bet you if the NAR lawyers in this lawsuit had taken the time to present evidence that showed here's 2.5 million transactions. In those 2.5 million transactions, there were 27 different compensation arrangement. How can it be price fixing or collusion if you have all these different kinds of ways that agents are being paid, both seller and buyer agents? It's just ridiculous. Uh, I'm very disappointed in how we were represented in the outcome of all this, but it is what it is. Litigate everything. And a lot of times it's not that they're right. They just have leverage and they did in this case. If we can answer any questions, please reach out to us. You can call or text me at 8308371071. Email me at keithcampbellrealtor at gmail.com. And definitely check out our website. Tons of information on there, keithandsheila.com. We're all over social media. We're all over. We're easy to find. 
Have a blessed and awesome day, and we'll talk to you real soon.